even get to God. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Today we are going to implement NOT gate in Quartz 2. For this purpose, I have already opened Quartz 2. Go to File menu, click on New Project Wizard. A window will pop up. This window will show you the introduction of the new project wizard. Click on Next. Here you have to specify the directory for your project. Click here. Remember you have made a folder by the name of experiments so you have to go to that folder that is in our G drive. Here you have to make a new folder by the name of not gate. Click open. Here you have to give the name of the project. Give it a meaningful name as it is our first experiment part 5 so we will give it one underscore not name click open now click next skip it click next here you have to select the family for your project you have to select cyclone 2 family and there would be a lot of available devices. You have to select EP2C20F484C7. Yes. Click next. Skip it. Click next. It will show you the summary of your project. When you click on finish, the project would be created. Again, go to the file menu. Click on new. Now we are going to make the block diagram. So we will click on block diagram or schematic file. Click OK. A window will pop up. In this window you have to make the block diagram. So for this purpose you will click either on the screen. You double click on the screen. Or you can click on the sample tool. A window will pop up. Here you have to click and then go to primitives then click on logic a number of gates will appear with their input values in front of them search the not gate here you can see that there is no numeric value written with the not gate it's because not gate is one input and one output gate the input that you give to the not gate would be inverted by it click ok Drop the gate on the screen. Again, go to the sample tool. Now, instead of the gates, you have to select pin. Click on input. OK. Drop the pin. Again, go to the sample tool. Click on output. Click OK. Drop on screen. Now join it. Bring it near. And then bring it back. Bring it closer. And then bring it back. Now the connections are made. Give the name to the input and output. Double click here. Give it a name A. OK. And for the output, F. OK. Now our block diagram is ready. We have to save it. Click. Now go to processing. Click on start compilation. It will take a little time in compilation. Wait for it. When the compilation is finished, it will give you the message. Ignore the warnings. Click OK. Now our block diagram is ready. Now we have to make the waveform for it. Click on file menu. Click new. Now instead of block diagram this time you have to select vector waveform file. Click ok. A window will pop up. Now you go to edit and set the end time. The end time should be 100 nanoseconds.
click OK. Again go to the edit menu and set the grid size. The grid size should be 10 nanoseconds. OK. It is already 10 nanoseconds. Now in the name column you have to click anywhere, right click anywhere, click on insert, insert node or bus, click on node finder. Here make sure that in filter all the pins are selected. Click on list. So the list of the nodes found will appear in the nodes found column. In order to copy them, click here. So the nodes would be copied over here. Now click OK. OK. The input and output pins would appear over here. Now you have to select E. Right click on it. And go to value. Clock. Here you have to give it a time period. It is 10 nanoseconds. I am setting it to 20 nanoseconds. You can set it on any value. Click OK. Now go to assignments and click on settings. Change the simulation mode from timing to functional. Click OK. Now save it. Click on file and save. OK. Save. Now go to processing and start compilation. When the compilation is finished, you will get the warnings. Ignore the warnings. Click OK. Again go to processing and click on start compilation and simulation. It will take a little time. OK. Now in order to view it in full screen, click on view and fit in window. Again click on view and full screen. Now you can see the waveform for it. As you can see when the input was 0 the output was 1 and when the input was 1 the output was 0. This is the function of the NOT gate. You can take the snapshot of it by clicking on the print screen and then pasting it in the paint. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.